me! Stop whining! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 box office bombs of 2024 so far. We'll only look at movies released between January and May with confirmed budgets. And while numbers may change, a movie is typically a bomb when it fails to double its production cost. Beware of minor spoilers ahead. God, your futures were almost so different. Number 10, Abigail. If you behave and do as we say, I think he promised you. It'll all be over soon. Joey? Yeah? I'm sorry about what's gonna happen to you. In this offbeat horror film, a group of criminals are hired to capture who they believe to be a preteen ballerina, but they soon discover that they've actually taken a vampire that's hundreds of years old, and happens to be a great dancer. The film's humor and over-the-top practical effects were both applauded. Okay. How do we kill a vampire? What are we talking about, like an Anne Rice or a True Blood, you know, Twilight? Unfortunately, neither the carnage or the comedy were enough to scare up a large audience. It's estimated that the movie will lose somewhere around $16 million. Although Abigail left a coffin lid open to allow for future sequels, lackluster financial returns may have put a stake in this franchise before it ever got time to shine. What can I say? I like playing with my food. Number 9, Back to Black. Do you know what girl power means to me? Sarah Vaughan, Lauren Hill. You need to know this. I ain't no Spice Girl. This biopic promised to take viewers into the life of a troubled singer who left the world far too soon. Although Marissa Abella's performance as Amy Winehouse was largely praised, critics were less enthusiastic about the film as a whole. I need to live my songs. So that's what I'm gonna go and do. While some reviewers believed Back to Black didn't dive deep enough into the singer's life, others found the movie to be exploitative. It's unknown whether the opposing reviews or intense subject matter kept casual moviegoers away, but at the end of the day, the numbers definitively indicated that Back to Black failed to recoup its costs. It's estimated that it only made back a third of its $30 million budget. I write songs because I've got to make something good out of something bad. Number eight, ISS. Hey guys. Wait a minute, what the hell is going on down there? What would an international group of astronauts do if they saw Earth being consumed by nuclear war while they were in space? This compelling question was at the center of the ambitious sci-fi film, ISS. The Russians got the same orders as us. And they just struck first. Struck first. Despite having a star-studded cast and earning solid reviews, the movie failed to reach box office heights. ISS is currently poised to lose around $21 million. Industry experts pointed out that it may have been prematurely doomed by its tough release window. ISS took flight in the rough box office market of January, only a week after the action-packed Beekeeper and crowd-pleasing Mean Girls made their debuts. In the end, external factors may have caused the film to get lost in space. We're gonna get out to the cupola. Now, guys! Get out! Get out! Now! Number seven, Challengers. You need to start winning. Right now, you're getting crushed by guys like Damari A. It didn't take long for the story of a steamy love triangle between three talented tennis players to become a social media sensation. Fans praised the tension-filled scenes between Zendaya and her co-stars and the movie's breathtaking conclusion. So why couldn't Challengers net a big box office win? We usually have different types. Hmm. So you're saying I should be flattered? Well, no. Aren't you everybody's type? Since the film's original August 2023 release was pushed back twice due to strikes, it's possible that general moviegoers weren't sure when it would premiere. It's also possible that people became tired of seeing the same preview run in front of other films for over a year. Challengers is still likely to find success and more fans on streaming services, but its studio might walk away from the box office court $30 million poorer. Code violation, racket abuse, point penalty, why? Number six. The Book of Clarence. Clarence! You are guilty of the crime fraud for your own ill-gotten gains. By earning just $6 million against a budget of $40 million, this comedy drama became a failure of biblical proportions. The Book of Clarence may have gone unread by moviegoers due to its boundary-pushing plot. At the beginning of this period film, we learn the titular character is struggling to make a living in first century Jerusalem. After learning that a man named Jesus was attracting fame and followers, Clarence tries to convince people that he's a prophet too. God sent me to deliver his message. I am your new messiah. The presence of religious satire may have kept audiences from giving the film a chance. It didn't help that Book of Clarence was released during a crowded weekend in January. Unfortunately, the religious risk didn't lead to reward this time around. I'm not a bad person. Just playing the cards I was dealt. <laughs> Number 5. 
the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. This is an unsanctioned, unauthorized mission. Most of the critics and moviegoers who saw this Guy Ritchie production were quite pleased with the final result. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare revolved around an actual top-secret military operation that was conducted during World War II. While it did exaggerate certain details, viewers didn't mind. After all, megastars like Henry Cavill, Isa Gonzalez, Alan Richson, and more were along for the ride. But the stacked talent behind the camera didn't translate to big box office returns. We both know that I'm not very popular with the administration. It never came close to earning back its budget and could end up losing the studio upwards of $90 million. For one reason or another, this war-themed film will go down in the history books as one of 2024's biggest flops. Abort this mission now. Hello, can't hear you. Please do. Oh. Number 4. Madam Web Shortly after audiences first heard a sample of the superhero tale's questionable dialogue, they predicted this movie wouldn't do too well at the box office. Ezekiel Sims. He was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. This pop culture prophecy came to pass when Madam Web debuted in February. Outside of its odd lines, the film was criticized for its thin characters, confusing plot mechanics, and a lackluster villain. Oh, bad dream? It's not a dream. I'm gonna be murdered one day. And when bad word of mouth spread prior to its release, some moviegoers asked for refunds before going to the theater. The web of bad press squashed the Spider-Man spin-off's chances at having a normal box office run. It's estimated that the movie will lose anywhere between $59 million and $99 million in the very near future. I didn't ask to be doing this with you, and I didn't ask for this to happen to me either. Number three, if. What is happening? Well, that's a perfectly understandable question given them. I'm an if. While the bulk of this kid's film's cast is imaginary, its box office failure is unfortunately all too real. If's $110 million budget allowed the filmmakers to create a world filled with fantastical creatures that need help from an unlikely duo in order to find homes. Additionally, the production's cost allowed them to hire an incredible voice cast. Question, why did these kids forget about us in the first place? Last week, I just started falling apart. Uh. The presence of vocal veterans like Steve Carell and Aquafina, and Hollywood legends like George Clooney seemed promising. Unfortunately, IF received middling reviews from critics before being widely ignored by general moviegoers. While final numbers are still yet to be determined, it could end up fumbling over $100 million. IF seemingly failed to spark imagination or financial success. Am I disappearing? Oh! Alright, I'm not ready for this. Number 2. The Fall Guy This was the fugitive, and you were Harrison Ford? The bad guys would be closing in. Ryan Gosling's action comedy had a lot going for it. His chemistry with Emily Blunt was evident from the first trailer. Since the movie also centers around a stuntman stumbling onto a crime conspiracy, the Fall Guy did justice to each one of its action scenes. The crew was even able to set a Guinness World Record for most car cannon rolls during production. But the combined might of all of the Fall Guy's thrills and laughs wasn't enough to fill seats. I don't know, maybe I just spent so much time writing Shotgun and someone else's story, I forgot how to take the wheel on my own. Wait. Does that make sense? Despite a lack of direct competition, the action comedy fell far short of expectations. It had a hugely disappointing debut, it didn't gain much traction after that. When the dust settles, it could lose anywhere between 121 to 171 million dollars. I just... I couldn't do it. Then I just disappeared completely. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Argyle Something I wrote in my new book, something I, I made up, got too close to something very real. And because of it, a rogue spy agency, a real directorate, suddenly thought I could help them recover this digital file. Thanks to a cast overstuffed with A-listers and tons of CGI, this spy thriller's budget ballooned to a hefty $200 million. The chances of it making a profit deflated once the first round of reviews went public. Although the central mystery of the movie revolved around the true identity of Argyle, critics didn't like how the story unfolded. The movie was ridiculed for having a series of increasingly hard-to-swallow twists. Those books you write, Aiden told you they were predictions. Well, they're not. They're memories. Additionally, the lack of chemistry between the leads and lame jokes held the thriller back. 
Audiences were a lot less willing to gamble on the week's spy movie than the studio was. As a result, Argyle could lose over $300 million. We probably won't see this spy go on another mission. Your new manuscript kicked the hornet's nest you didn't even know existed. That's why the Division wants you. Once they have you, they're never gonna let you go, or worse. Much, much worse. Did any of these box office bombs deserve better? Let us know which ones need redemption in the comments. That was bad. God, that was bad. Delete. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.